forensic psychiatrist. He's also on the Broward Sheriff County's Office Emergency Response Team. Great to have you today and appreciate your time. Uh, you have something you. in the state of Florida called the Baker Act. And it allows, well, you tell me what it allows, because it is different from what other states have. How does it work? The Baker Act is an involuntary commitment up to 72 hours that allows you to force someone into treatment if they are a danger to themselves, a danger to others, or are gravely disabled and unable to provide for their basic needs. Does that help in an instance where you have a teenager who's not allowed back on his high school campus with a backpack? Not necessarily. Uh, a teenager coming onto a high school campus, if he's not supposed to be there, might be, he might be arrested for trespassing. But if he's not making a specific threat to himself or to other people, then there's very little you can do to take him uh, involuntarily to a hospital. Dr. Bober, in which instances has the Baker Act or anything else that you might utilize in Florida uh, made a difference? You know, it's really only a short-term solution. We can only hold people for a certain amount of time, which is up to 72 hours. It's always a struggle. It's always a balance between individual civil, civil liberties and public safety. Mm. Uh, we can't just go taking people to the hospital against their will because they post something on social media. There needs to be very specific threats. Otherwise, the system could be abused and people could be put away for virtually anything. Yeah, and that's the critics and, and the, uh, the people who really don't like the idea of others being able to make the decisions about our health, whether it's mental or otherwise, that's what they say. Um, so where are we now just in terms of red flags with people, and particularly this age group, this young age group? And I don't want you to look at this particular suspect because you've never sat with him, but just overall. You know something, it's very, very difficult to predict these things. Pe the majority of people with mental illness will never be violent. Only 4% of firearm homicides are committed by people with mental illness. The majority of gun owners are not violent. This is the perfect storm, and sometimes these factors come together to create a situation where if one person is determined to do harm to other people, then he will do it, and there is nothing you can do. The message to the parents of America are that when your child is putting you through so much that you can't stand to be around them and you don't even know what to do with yourself, that is when they need you the most, and that's when you need to step up to the plate. Wow. And you know, as we learn about this particular young man, maybe not having that, and his mother passed away in November uh, of the flu or some other illness, respiratory illness we're learning, uh, it, without that safety net, would that have made a difference? We don't know. We weren't there with him. Uh, but it is worth reporting that his safety net was quite different than it is from children who might have parents in the home. Before I let you go, I want to talk with you about the stigma of mental illness and where the place we need to get to in this country. There is a tremendous stigma against mental illness. The bottom line is that when someone tells you you're de they're depressed, or when someone tells you that they have anxiety, you don't look at them the same way as then if they tell you they have diabetes or heart disease. And that is really the issue. We just are very judgmental about people with mental illness, which causes them to hide in the shadows and not get the help they need. And until we're willing to look at mental illness as a legitimate disease, the same way that we do, say, heart disease, then people will be afraid to seek treatment because of that stigma. Dr. Bober. Thank you very much, and so great to get you from Broward County with that immediate experience that you have with the officials there. Thank you. My pleasure, Harry.